Hey, how's it going guys? JC here, welcome to the Bronze Diamond episode, and today we'll be playing Jack's Top as voted by you guys, based on community poll. Anyways, OP.GG and runes on the screen right now. So what I mean by that is, last video I had a Quinn and Jax vote that were really close, so I decided to re-poll it on community post, and Jax won by a landslide, like by 65% to 35%. So yeah, going to be playing Jax, and I've spent the last 6 hours trying to get a Jax video out, Every time, it's either my mid lane decides to AFK, or the enemy mid lane decides to AFK, or Jax gets picked, I have to play Trinomir, Jax gets banned, and I have to dodge. You know, it was like a nightmare, and eventually it got to a point where I even had an inter on my team, so we somehow won that, as you guys can see on the pictures. So yeah, anyways, we're going to see how we do against Ignite Garen. This is going to be pretty cheesy by him. Oh, uh-oh. I'm going to miss CS. Oh, no, I'm not. Nice. Damn, that did no damage to him. Okay. Hmm. I'm not two yet. Okay, nice. We got a flash out of that. It's not too bad. But yeah, I kind of wish he ganked a little bit later. That way I could get my E off. Or get my Q off. Alright, just get a little bit of that trade-off. I should start popping my potions here. Uh oh. Okay. I guess I'm getting ganked too. Oof. Alright, he's level 3. I need to hit 3 first before I try to trade with him. There we go. Oh my god. Alright, he flash, I flash. Damn, that's annoying. I just wanted to kill Garen. Like, it's really close. Uh, top, no sums. No. But yeah, I just wanted to press my lead and just straight up win. I'm gonna TP because this is slow pushing. And if I don't TP, then... Um, yeah, I'm not going to have a good time in lane. Oh my god, I just cancelled my auto there. Okay, yeah, so we push it in. But unfortunately, we're going to be at an EXP disadvantage because... We got ganked and we backed away during the time where there was a big minion wave. I think if I was Trin, I'd be ham enough to just stay with my minion wave. But as Jax, I just decide to run away. Oh my god, he's back again. Okay. Damn, he's like camping the living daylight out of me. I guess we have... yeah. We have like shenanigans happening at bot lane, so that's fine. We're just taking the brunt of all the ganks, and the important thing is we don't die to it. We have our ward hop just to jump away. So you just use your counter strike, and then after you stun them, jump away. That's pretty much it. Don't really need to ward to be honest. Why are they pinging on the way to my lane? Oh, I guess Kane is coming. Okay, that's cool. This time I'll be able to synergize better with this gank. Do we get him? Oh, nice. That's slow at the very end. Missing uh, quite a bit of minions here, but should be okay. Okay, let's just push this out. But yeah, good thing that we survived the ganks and he couldn't survive the second gank. So that's really good. 
But we were getting camped. Oh, I want to push this in. This is going to freeze on me if I don't push it in. I kind of wish Kane pushed with me, actually. Now that I think about it, I should have pinged. So that's my bad. Okay, nice. So let's go back and get our Tiamat here. It's going to be a really big upgrade. On top of that, we'll get a Ruby Crystal here. Just to be tanky, because he is Ignite Garen, I'm pretty sure his Ignite's up again. So that will mitigate most of the Ignite. And yeah, just head back to lane. Definitely want to pick up a Triforce very soon. I think once we get our Phage, we should be able to chase him down a lot easier. Ooh, what do you mean? Oh my god, I missed everything. Nice, we got her. Or him. Okay, beautiful. Let's push this in. This time we have Tiamat, so pushing in is a lot easier. I kind of wish I could stay for one more wave. I just want my Phage so badly. Garen's missing out on so much by pushing this into tower. We finally get it into tower, so wave's at a good spot. If I teleport up, I would actually go down there right now. Like, cut off either Pike or Jinx. Man, they need to choose a target. <laughs> then I got different targets. I should be leap striking back to lane, by the way. That's something that you should do. Don't be like me and get distracted. But because I'm already next to the front minion, there's no point in leap striking. He's level 6 right now. Okay, nice. We won that trade pretty hard. I'll let this push out again, and this time I'll run him down with ult. That's the plan. So let him push in. And then I'll just jump on him. You want to make sure you use your E after you jump, so that you get the full dodge duration. Hmm, he doesn't want to come up for CS. I guess he kind of knows. He knows that he doesn't want to fight me right now. Okay, there we go. Just chunk him down a little more. Oh my god, I really want to dive him. Probably not a- oh my god, that silence. Oh, spicy. Okay, I, the silence lasts so long, double silence, I couldn't ult at all. I was just spamming ult, and by then I already flashed, so there's no point in ulting after. But, oh my god, they have double silence there. That's kind of brutal. I think that was a Cho'Gath flash. Oh, I'm coming in. Oh my! Damn, damn. I wasn't meant to die there. 380 true damage, okay. I'm gonna miss out on a lot there. But hopefully we helped our team out somewhat and they can win off that. Oh, nice. Kane's getting pretty big. 2 and 1. I'm 3 and 1. Actually, I gave a big shutdown, didn't I? 600, oh my. Okay, that's really bad. We need to catch up on CS again because our CS numbers is really low. 66 CS at 12 minutes is atrocious. So we need to catch up. But yeah, that TP play, maybe I played it wrong. I feel like I might have played it wrong. I was trying to get rid of Morgana's shield and that could stun her. But I guess my W didn't do enough damage. 
We'll just focus on last hitting for now. And if we could get a scuttle crab in the river, that'd be so nice. But we don't know what the next spawn is. Did I just W a minion? I felt like he took no damage. Must have W'd a minion. Okay, I see Cho'Gat down there. I might be able to just counter jungle a little bit if his raptors are up. Okay, perfect. Nice. Jax does this so efficiently because of his counter strike. Takes like no damage. Okay, and we just get full mana again. Let's go back. We can definitely fight him even in the minion wave. Ooh. Okay, Garen's over there. Hop a potion and look to fight him. Oh my god, he's so low. Nice, Kane got him. Beautiful. So yeah, that's Ignite Garen right there. Kind of annoying, kind of cheesy. But we managed to pull through. Despite getting ganked non-stop by Cho'Gath. But we did get a decent jungler as well, so that's important. Like, our jungler helped us out a lot as well. But we do have to survive on our own. Okay, very nice. Oh my god. I'm so dead. What the hell? That Jinx rocket. I get my Triforce here. I think if it wasn't for that Jinx rocket, I would have stunned Cho'Gath and just ran away with a ward hop. Yeah, unfortunately my Q was down during that time, so I couldn't Q away. But we get our Triforce here, so we're going to be really strong. I'm going to truck through this Garen. Especially if he pushes up. I have the whole lane to truck him. And yeah, our ult does a lot in terms of magic resist. 58 armor and 30 magic resist. So that's huge against Garen. Because his ult does magic damage. And then the rest of it does physical. If I see Garen right now, I'll just run him down all the way. Like no mercy. So Jump and then tier mark midair. You just splash. It's like an animation cancel or like a little trick you can do to wave clear. Oh my god, I wish I had teleport here. Unfortunately, I don't, so I just keep pushing. We can push really fast with Tiamat and Triforce. Okay, that's fine. He popped his W, so he takes no damage. I'll look to push out mid, or maybe even get a Raptor camp here. Okay, let's push out mid. And see if we could get some damage on this mid tower. Or maybe even dive Morgana. If I see Morgana, I'm popping potions. And just diving. Okay. Nice. There we go. I'm so sick of this Cho'Gath ulting me. Yeah, not this time. Let's go back to top. And then just push that out, then we go back home. Uh oh. Well, looks like she's done though. Okay, we can push one more wave out safely. Okay. Ooh, actually, Garen's dead. I'll just push all the way. Okay, this is an opportunity to get this tower here. I see both of them, so I know exactly where they are. Okay, let's just back away here. We know that Morgana's very close by. Okay, sweet. This looks like a Merc Treads game. For sure. They have so many silences. 
Okay, so right now I'm going for 40% CDR. So we get our Merc Treads, Triforce, and also Core Fields. So we have 40% CDR right now. We're going to be able to just run down anybody we see. I also want to make sure I get Rift Herald. It's going to despawn in 40 seconds. So yeah, the reason why I have 40% CDR is because I have Transcendence. And after that, I'll go for Sterics. Sterics is going to be massive. I'll be so tanky with it. And yeah, we're already doing insane amount of damage because CDR OP. Okay, let's push this out and then we'll head towards mid and drop Rift Herald. Well, actually, we don't even need to. Okay, let's head over to this team fight. We'll start chugging potions here. Oh my god, destruction. Absolute destruction right there. And just take this out so our Rift Hell doesn't waste health. Okay, let's go. Let's get Baron. But yeah, we do so much damage at the moment. We get Triforce and Core Fields. Like, that's our massive power spike. Along with Tiamat. And the Tiamat combo you want to do when you jump on them is you use your Q, E, and then after that, obviously you have to ult as well. But the burst combo is your W, Tiamat. So just press W, Tiamat. That's basically it. Okay, very nice. We'll go back. And now we work towards Derek's gauge. I'm going to start splitting bot lane now. But I can always teleport to wherever I need. I could also go top. I'm just deciding, hey. We want to be near the action and the next objective is Ocean Drake. But we like a team fight split pusher rather than a split pusher split pusher, kind of like Trindamir. So we want to be near the team fights because we're jacks. Just because of the fact that when you pop your ult, you get 111. Oh my god, you get so much armor. So when you jump in, you pop your E and your ult and just let your E time out so that you get the dodge mechanic of it. So you can become super tank. Not just a regular tank, but you know, super tank. Okay. I'm not keen on tower diving them, that's for sure. Ooh, I barely dodged that hook. That hook went through all the minions. Nice. He ignited me and also ulted. Well, he was about to ult. I guess his ult didn't go off. Popping all my potions here. Damn it! I thought he didn't have ult. Mm. He actually didn't use it on anyone yet. Trigath ult is kind of BS though. It just like one shots you. And the animation's so quick that you can't even react to it, so I wouldn't even know. I can teleport back for the family photo if they slow down. But 18 seconds off. It's not gonna happen. But yeah, finally, after six hours of playing, finally got a Jax game. I am so grateful for this. Like, like you just can't imagine how hard it was because every single time I tried to record, someone just AFK is like either in the first five minutes or the first 15 minutes, they just AFK. Like I get a troll Nunu with like cleanse and ghost, and I somehow didn't dodge that because that's how tilted I was, and then we finally got this game, so. That is awesome. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And we're already in our series because I played so many games today. And I somehow won the, the inting game as well. Like you guys can see on the screen. So yeah, we're going to be climbing really fast now. Because I'm playing champions that I'm slightly comfortable with. And that makes a huge difference rather than playing champions that I have to learn from scratch and lose a lot. So yeah, remember to vote down below which champion you want to see next in the description box below. And if it's not in the description box, then I'll consider it. But you know what? That's what it is for now, and the reason for that is just so that we can climb faster. Because if I don't limit my champ pool, then we're going to be regressing because I'll be learning champions and going backwards. So yeah, GG well played. Thank you so much for watching to the very end. I'll see you all in the next video. Cheers.